All right, I am at the property, 832 Oreo Court, Lake Elsinore, California. Two bedroom, two bath, 875 square feet, listed for 295. Um, so this is the front of the street. So, like I said, this particular community, they're all houses that are duplexes kind of side by side. And so uh, you own one side and the other owner owns the other side and it's literally split right down the middle. I don't know if you could tell the difference between the two different roofs, but you literally, you own your own roof, you take care of your own roof, you do all that own stuff as well too. All right, uh, this particular street is a cul-de-sac. So right here, there's no traffic there. You can see all the different houses. That one has a little bit more. Boom. Uh, from front appearance of the house, and we'll get through it, there's a lot of, uh, there's definitely been some break-ins while the house has been sitting vacant. There's some broken windows and things. Uh, the garage door is pretty beat up. Um, you can see where the paneling right here has come separated from the actual panel itself. Um, I'm sure it could be fixable, but most likely you're going to need to replace the garage door. Um, it's all separated here as well, too, so um uh and then you could kind of see the wood it's blistering just just a little bit of wood rot this part of the wood the fascia for the roof all looks really good um just uh, it's around the garage area exactly so you walk around left this is the left side uh here's some wood slats that they put onto the iron fence oh this is like some vinyl slats that they put on there uh, that would need to come down for sure i'm sure they did it for some privacy purposes but um, it doesn't look very pretty uh, here's the access to the garage there is no door they built this like makeshift door which is just some plywood over it um, uh, there's a lock on it here's a window it looks like it's been busted out so they put some plywood here window put some plywood there one last window. I'm going to come to the backyard real fast as well, too. So it's a pretty decent backyard. Backyard patio. It's got some concrete on one side. It's got a little bit of dirt, which you can see from the trees. Um, you know, needs a good general cleaning for sure. Oh, here's the back of the property. Um, small little air conditioner. Uh, roof overall looks pretty good, but yeah, it's going to need all new windows replaced. Um, I don't believe, looking at the condition now, it's going to go for a 10% conventional. It could go for a 20% conventional, but definitely not a 10%. Uh, something on the floor, the wood. Just some general graffiti going on on the walls. Oh man, yeah, you can see the holes. This is my first time in here myself, so I'm just looking at it and I'm just like, whoa. Um, when I first came into the property, there was two tweaker people sleeping inside of the home. And so I asked them to leave so I could shoot this video and they took off pretty fast. Do, do, do. All right, it is a complete gut job is what I'm seeing here. All right. Missing lights, a big hole in the drywall. This window's missing. Do, do, do. Heater. Uh, no flooring in the home at all. Uh, it's all this concrete. It's probably all been ripped out. Here's uh, guest bedroom number one. Closet's missing a lot of drywall right here. Ooh, big hole. No closet doors. I see that the vent's been capped for some reason. Another big hole in the drywall here. Okay. Uh, this is your bathroom. Alright. Hole where the uh, mirror used to be. Hole where the light used to be. Alright, and now I'm in the master bedroom. So the master bedroom is actually connected to the garage, so that door right there leads into the garage. So if you park in your garage and want to come into the home, you're actually coming into the master bedroom. There's the windows that are missing there. It's pretty dark in here. There's no lights at all. 
So, closet. Let's go into this room. Not good. It smells terrible in here. This house is rough. Garage. Garage. Oh, there's a door on the inside. It's just broken in. Washer and dryer hookups there. Um, I estimate the total rehab of this place. Because it's smaller, it's only 832 square feet. I estimate that total rehab of about uh, $60,000, uh, including gutting the kitchen, um, uh, new windows, new floors, new appliances, new everything that's there. Um, and that's, you know, without just looking at everything on a surface level, replacing the drywall, um, probably replacing the heater and air conditioning, uh, you could probably get it done for about a 60k number. And so, I'm gonna, uh, my suggested price for this, if you were going to try to go after it, wouldn't be higher than a 250 number. Um, at 250, you're definitely, you know, you'll be able to put it all back together brand new for a 300, 315 number. And, uh, uh, I mean, it's going to be a, a good property overall. Uh, I don't think it'll work for the type of loan that you're trying to get at this moment, but we've seen it. 832 Oreo. Thanks.